Now see here x rays, see here wavelength range for x rays are 1 nanometer to 10 raised to power minus 3 nanometer and frequency range is 10 raised to power 16 hertz to 3 into 10 raised to power 21 hertz and production how these x rays are produced. These rays are produced by x ray tubes or inner shell electrons and now application these rays has got very important applications. One of them is very very important one is in surgery for detection of the fractures foreign bodies like bullets inside the human body. So, whatever if there is a fracture in the bones inside the body that can be detect, detected by only x rays. And now for detecting faults, cracks, flaws in the metal products. So, see here whenever the metal products are made, so the final products are checked if there are any flaws or the cracks inside the metals that is only done by using the x rays. And x rays are also used for the studying the structure of crystals and etcetera. So, there are many more applications beside these three, but these three are the main applications which I have taken here. Now, see here seventh one is the gamma rays and this is the last component of electromagnetic spectrum and its wavelength range is that is a less than 10 raise to power minus 3 nanometer and frequency range is 3 into 10 raise to power 18 hertz to 5 into 10 raise to power 22 hertz and production radioactive decay of the nucleus and where these uh, waves are used these radiations are used. One is first one is in the treatment of the cancer and tumor that is why you know the for this thing is your tumor in the brain and not to preserve the food for the long time and to produce nuclear reactions. So, these are the fields where electro this one gamma rays are used.